So I'm gonna give you five of the best emulators that you can run on your Android devices in 2022 to play retro console games. Disclaimer though, piracy of video games is illegal. However, if you own the game, you can legally make a copy of it. So keep that in mind. And I will be adding links in the description below for the APKs for the apps I'm about to show you. Anyway, number one, this one's called PPSSPP. Can you guess what console it emulates? If you guessed the Sony PSP, you are correct. And in my opinion, apart from the Vita, it probably is one of the best handheld consoles ever. And it had a bunch of Sony exclusive AAA games. If you didn't get to play them, you can play them now using this emulator. There is a paid version of this. And if you do pay for it, you will be supporting the creator of PPSSPP. It's super simple to set up. You need to download your ROMs into a folder. You can then go to the settings and then direct it to that folder where it will find the ROMs and automatically load up the game. Within the settings of the app, you can adjust the graphics and all this kind of stuff as well. And you can also use a gamepad like I'm doing with the Nacon MGX. I made a separate video about that. You can check it out at the end of this one if you want to. The second emulator is called Dolphin Emulator. And this one can mimic a few different devices but what we're gonna look at today is the Nintendo GameCube. Again, there was a bunch of exclusive Nintendo titles that you could only get on these consoles. You can't play them anywhere else. That's why this is in my top five and it works incredibly well. The file sizes for the games are quite large though, so just keep that in mind. It might be a good idea to get an SD card and I can recommend one for you in the description below and put all your games on the SD card and then put the SD card into your phone. If you're an iOS user, unfortunately, Apple don't like giving you the option for an SD card. So you have to download it to your device. What you could do is store it in the cloud and download it when you wanna play it and delete it when you're not playing it. I do recommend you guys try out the old school Mario Tennis, Mario Golf and Mario Strikers. That was a dark horse in my opinion. That one was actually on GameCube and you can play it here on the Dolphin emulator. Number three, and before I tell you what it is, if you're enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up and a subscribe would be amazing. But anyway, number three is Citra. This awesome emulator allows you to play 3DS games on your smartphone. Again, the file sizes are gonna be quite big, so definitely keep that in mind. It's very easy to use and it's free, just like all of the emulators I'm gonna show you today. But this one is specifically for the 3DS. So if that's all you wanna play, then definitely check this one out. It's pretty good. Number four, the Aether SX. Now this one emulates the Sony PlayStation 2, and I believe it's the best emulation of a PS2 that we've had ever. It's a little more tricky than the other ones to install, and there's also a BIOS file that you have to point it towards in order for it to work properly. You can download everything in one zip file from my website and you'll have everything you need. So just like before, all you do is get your ROMs, and I'll leave that up to you and Google to figure out how to do that. Once you've got them downloaded, all you need to do is point the Aether towards the folder where you've stored them. I do recommend you keep all your ROMs in one folder so it's easy to find. I've just put a folder in my downloads folder called emulator ROMs. Everything's in there, so I point everything towards that folder. And what it will do is it will load it up from there. And again, there's so many settings in here. You can use a gaming controller, you can use on-screen controls, you can adjust the frames and all this kind of stuff. It really is one of the most advanced emulators here. And it's truly, truly awesome playing some of these old games like Metal Gear Solid and the old school GTAs. Definitely check out Aether SX. Number five is Retro Arch. And the reason I've saved this one to last is because it can do the most. Check out this list of emulators. So from the home screen of Retro Arch, you can go to Load Core. Here, you can go to Download a Core and you'll see all of the emulators that this one app has. It goes back to the Amstrad and even the Atari and the Amigas. So you can get real, real retro with this software. It truly is insane. But the one that I'm testing out today is the Game Boy Advance, the Super Nintendo, and the Dreamcast, which is one of my favorites. And the Dreamcast has some amazing exclusive titles like Power Stone, Crazy Taxi. It had Ready to Rumble Boxing. These games were awesome. And now you can play them on your smartphone with a gamepad, thanks to RetroArch, it truly is epic. And I do recommend you guys to test it out. And if you guys wanna take your emulation gaming up another level, definitely get yourself a little cradle, something like this, the Nacon MGX. Check out my video on it, thumbnails on screen right now. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you got any value out of this, or you got any recommendations for me, for other emulators, 
let me know in the comments below. And if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. See you in the next one. Game on! Yeah, game on!